There's nothing more romantic than flowers in your garden. But if you garden in really deep shade, that can be a challenge. So here's some really easy ideas. Now, in this window box, uh, it's, it's on the north side of the house. It's very, very shaded. But you can get a lot of color by using bright foliage plants. So here's Lamium. This is actually Golden Anniversary Lamium. It's used as a ground cover in the shade. It thrives in dry shade, but also adapts to the lower level of this moss-covered basket. And then Vinca. This is a wonderful um, Vinca evergreen vine like the Lamian is. So this is going to look good even in the wintertime. And this Vinca is called Illumination. It has lots of gold in the leaves. But the stars of this, the thing that does bloom the deep shade, that never fails is these non-stop begonias. Okay, they come in white, they come in this peach, they come in red, and they just bloom all summer long no matter how shaded it is. Now they're kind of set off with a little bit of burgundy leaf in the coleus, but the coleus have a tendency to get a little bit too tall and hide the flowers of the begonias. Don't be afraid to get in there and just snip off the tops of your coleus so you can see more of the flowers. Now, I can even take these and put them in a glass of water. They'll form roots. I can put them in the garden someplace else. But another great plant for the deep, dark, shaded area are hostas. Now, there's three different kinds of hostas here, each in their own pot. They've been growing in these pots for, oh, more than five years. They haven't needed to be repotted yet. Um, they die down in the winter, and then every spring they simply return. Now, the secret of growing these in, in containers is to use a really high quality potting soil. Um, I've been using this uh, potting soil that's called Osmocote potting soil because the fertilizer is already mixed in. I don't have to worry about fertilizing. If you use a different type of a potting soil, you can also add uh, a slow release plant food like Osmocote. Just sprinkle it into the soil when you're planting. If you forget, sprinkle it on top of the soil and water. The fertilizer will soak in. And then the one great big tip, how do you know when your hosta needs to be replanted after it's been growing for five or six years in a pot? Well, some morning, you're just going to come outside and the pot will be split in half. And that's your clue. That hosta needs a bigger pot.